Okay, well, here is uh, this uh, radio frequency ID sticker being used with a uh, what they call a mini Tesla coil 12 volt. You can see the plasma stream coming off it there. This is actually a Slayer exciter. Um, it's not a true Tesla coil, but they call it a Tesla coil. And you can get them in kit form or buy them on eBay or Amazon, whatever. Ten bucks or less to get something like that to show this uh, this effect. But um, this was pretty neat. And uh, this is just a prototype block. And look at this. It goes way out here. couple of feet um, yeah uh, the other uh, thing that um, slider mentioned was a repeater tower type of deal using multiple ones of these stacking them up in such a way that you had a way to increase the range and Dr. Stifler did a bunch of experiments with these repeater towers that were tuned to one another and uh, I don't know if it could be done with these uh, stickers or not, but this was pretty impressive that this um, this thing worked off this uh, Slayer Exciter. Uh, you can make your own Slayer Exciter. Uh, just Google Slayer Exciter circuit diagrams. They're really easy to make. It's a transistor, a resistor, some wire. Um, you can run it on a AA battery on up to... This is actually supposed to be 14 to 24 volts, and I'm running it on 12 volts. But uh, basically, it's a Tesla coil type of thing with uh, high voltage coming out here at the top. It's a low, uh, low amperage, high voltage. But these are called radio frequency ID tags. These ones are 13.56 megahertz. They come in different frequencies, different styles. Um, there's an integrated circuit in there that, of course, I'm not using. I'm just using the coil part of it. But uh, you, uh, on this deal here, you have to use a, what's called an AV plug. It's a uh, switching dial, one in 914 going one way and one going the other way to create the plus and minus that lights up the, uh, the device. But... Uh, the other thing that um, Granddad mentioned is they're in packages, of course, and he said sometimes they put them in the layers of cardboard. So there's the layer of cardboard that doesn't affect it whatso whatsoever. Frequency goes right through it. The energy goes right through cardboard. doesn't affect it at all. If this was metal, of course, it would probably stop it, but cardboard doesn't do anything to it at all so they they might have it in the layers or even on the inside of a package so that they could read it that way but anyway pretty uh, pretty neat um see something like that happen at a distance way out here now there was uh, something else i noticed that uh, this is just a regular led board out of a light bulb and of course it lights up with the same kind of av plug when you get it near the Tesla coil, but if you put it out here, you see it doesn't light up. But if I tap it on this thing, there it goes. And that's that antenna, basically this coil antenna that's picking up the energy and then transferring it to the LED array. So anyway, pretty neat stuff. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to go with this project, but I wanted to try this with a uh, Slayer Exciter or AKA Tesla, mini Tesla coil. Thanks for watching.